crazy fan goes shy. We hope you guys are having an amazing day, sir. Hey guys, it's the finale of Obi Wan, episode six, part six. Here it is, and I thought I would dress up just a little bit. I did do my hair like layers a little bit, um, and then I did wear something that's sort of like what she wears in the movies, but not much. I mean, sort of. I mean, it's pretty cool. I love this shirt. It's one of my favorite tops ever, and I wear it all the time now when I can. Anyway, um, guys, I'm super excited. I'm hyped as hell, because obviously we were left on such a high note, and also just... Last episode was mwah, chef's kiss. So today we are a little bit on time, so which is nice. Um, and I'm excited to get straight into this, guys. So let's just jump right in. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. But also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this. No. Mother does what she does to protect her family. a horse with those what's it called thingies he's like that <laughs> oh what a shot love it <laughs> oh so good Ooh, what a spot love it i approve must have would have been cool but two on the nose Look at my Obi! He looks so good! Lola! Oh, Leia! You sweet child! <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh. oh! Oh, yes! Oh, that's so beautiful! Yes! Oh my god! Are you guys happy now? Here it is! This is what we've been waiting for! Oh my god! Yes! <laughs> I love the, like, it doesn't even, like, it shouldn't even be in there, like, the extra flips, but very Star Wars. Oh, God. That's beautiful, though. I love how it's all white, and then she's just in a mass of darkness. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, I love that! Yes! Oh, oh! Yes! Do the. the I dodge roll all the time! Yes, OP! But the weakness still remains. Oh! 
The way he said that. Oh, Opie! Oh my! Did you all see that? Jesus! And that is why you will always lose. Ah! Who's got the high ground now? <laughs> Such a good shot. No! Oh my god! Yes, RB, go! Even though I don't, I don't want him to hurt out again and Darth Vader, you know what I mean, but still. Yes! Oh god! Irby stuck up on you, dude! <laughs> need to walk <laughs> did that just happen <laughs> I don't know whether I'm supposed to cry or if I'm supposed to yell I'm just like I mean like I'm yeah I look like an idiot right now but you know oh I mean I look like an idiot every day so it's fine but like oh. holy fuck I honestly don't want to cry because like I had a stressful day and if I start crying then it ain't gonna stop <laughs> um but holy shit dude Ugh. I mean I, I won't lie I haven't felt like that that emotional I won't lie in terms of Star Wars since Revenge of the Sith I remember watching that for the first time I was 
crying, ugly crying, worse than anything that everybody has ever seen, ever seen. So thank God nobody sees me cry like that. But it is worse than Mandalorian. Mandalorian, I look like a, I look like a blob. But then I looked worse. Um, it hurts so much. But we, I want to talk about it right now. But we'll talk about it at the end. <laughs> Yeah, because if I start now, then I won't shut up. So let's keep going. Oh my god! Irby! Yes! Go! Oh my god! Do not hurt my child! My other child. My many children. Jesus, don't you dare! Do you really want to be like Darth Vader? Do you really want to kill another boy? Or let another child? My god! Come on, Reva, don't do it, please! Oh my god, my boy! Stop it! Stop! He looks so good! <laughs> oh, that's a sick shot. Oh my god. If you killed Luke, you would have. Oh, I want to give her a hug! Oh, Irby. Uh oh. Oh, oh! I love that. That looks like oh. Destroy everything in our path. Is that Palpatine? Ah! You seem agitated. I wonder if your thoughts are clear on this, Lord Vader. Perhaps your feelings for your own. Has left you weakened. Shut up! Kenobi means nothing. Then why are you going after him? I serve only you, my master. Oh! Ah! Oh! That looks so good. Ah! <laughs> And she still looks beautiful and badass. <laughs> Yay! Arby! <laughs> Arby! Sure, he needs sleep. Oh. Oh. You want to meet him? Oh. Uh. Hello there. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I hate the charm but I love it. Why? <laughs> Wait. That's symmetry though, the red and the blue. I mean, do I need to say anything at all now? <laughs> I won't lie, when I was on the way home, I did see one comment sort of pop up on my Twitter feed just as I was coming home and I did see someone say, this was absolutely a waste of time and this finale was absolute garbage. Now, 
I won't lie. I was very nervous for, for this finale because I was like, where, like, how are they going to finish it off? How are they going to get the landing? How are they going to get all those emotional beats right? And I was like, maybe it is not good. Maybe, uh, you know, and I won't lie. I was going in with a very big mindset of saying, like, it's probably not going to be good. But, <laughs> I mean, I won't, like, <laughs> like, this show, for me, I, I'm, again, I'm not going to think about anybody else's opinion. I'm not going to think about the fucking internet because right now, holy shit, guys, the amount of emotions I feel, like, I think it was absolutely amazing. I think it was so good. It hit all the, like, the, the precise emotional beats that it needed to hit. And so... Well done. I think this final episode really hit the landing so well. Um, I think emotionally and even nostalgically, it really hit it on the spot. But for all the characters, for Obi-Wan, let's start with Obi-Wan. His story came full circle. We started off with a man who had no hope and just he didn't care about sort of fighting for a cause again he didn't want to save people anymore all he cared about was in a way himself and protecting himself and even just staying away from anything that had to do with the jedi order or anything like that and then we see this man go through this incredible journey and also the fact that he has so much ptsd and so much pain and grief from losing his brother and his uh, his padawan anakin skywalker and still faces the pain of that every single day especially when he comes face to face with vader he's he he's presented with this man who he thought he's presented with this man who he thought he killed and realized has become one of the most powerful sits in the entire galaxy and one of the most powerful like force wielders ever as we've seen in this show and the main thing with Obi-Wan is that he struggled so much to come to the fact that he couldn't face his past. He was, he felt like, he felt obviously a lot of pain and also, what's that word? Regret, I think. Not regret, there's another word, but I can't think of it right now. But he felt a lot of things because he killed his best friend and his brother. So he, like, facing that and that trauma was so painful and we saw that so much through the show and it was incredibly represented and fi and also there's no and i think a lot of people expected qui-gon to come at a point and sort of give him that wisdom but instead i love how obi-wan had to do it himself he saw that hope in leia and he saw all these different like aspects and all these different characters that we come across through tala through leia and through I uh, can't remember that guy's name, but the guy who's in, like the head of the resistance, um, and then Haja, all those people have some sort of hope, and he like was inspired by that, and that's so beautiful, especially because he then goes on to sort of realize like just he needs to let the past go, and also because of the fact, and this is beautiful, when he fought Vader, like, he couldn't- he looked like he was about to kill Vader. He looked like he was about to kill him. And, you know, in a way, I think he always was trying to wake- almost wake Anakin up. But he couldn't, because Anakin- not Anakin's gone, but Anakin is Darth Vader. He, he can't change. It's not Anakin's gone. Become Darth Vader. And Obi-Wan, I think, realises that the moment that mask is- The moment the mask is ripped and it's torn and just- hmm, It's just- <sighs> Like, be like, beautiful, and just, like, beautiful imagery, but also painful. But just, you real Obi-Wan realises in that moment that it's a lost cause, and that's why he thinks of, like, in that moment when he's under the rocks, because he's thinking, like, Leia and Luke, those are the people he should be fighting for. Unfortunately, he can't fight for Anakin anymore because Anakin is Darth Vader. And I felt like that was so beautiful. <laughs> just <laughs> painful. But so well done. I loved it. Now, for Reva, let's go with her because I want to leave Hayden to last because you guys know I love him. But, Reva. Dude, I absolutely loved her and Moses did an incredible job with this character. So beautiful and she's such an incredible actress. She was so good throughout this whole entire show. Like I said, she was so unpolished. I loved that about Reva. She wasn't like any of the other Inquisitors because in a way I was sort of worried that it was going to be a replica of Trilla from uh, Fallen Order and I was like please to the Lord God please do not do the same thing over and over again because I love Trilla 
But also, I don't want that to be replicated and sort of, like, cloned again and again. So, thankfully, it wasn't. And I loved her story from being a Padawan and essentially dying and then coming, not coming back to life, but essentially her Padawan life died with her and she rose from, like, those bodies, ugh, the imagery, like, thinking about that, but just rising from that and becoming something so dark, evil and twisted all because she wanted to get close to her enemy and that was so smart and so good and I loved that about her character. But I also love the redemption arc, finally, because I've spoken about this, Anakin didn't get it. Anakin though, fair enough, because he would never have survived what happened after the, um, the trilogy. But with Kylo, don't even get me started on this, because he could have survived, but no, the Skywalkers don't get a happy ending. Anyway, enough of that, but at least with Reva, I wanted this, I wanted a redemption arc, because I love redemption arcs, especially when they're able to actually live a new life. So we didn't see anything with Reva like afterwards, which I sort of like, because it leaves the door open to her coming back into the Star Wars universe. But she deserves so much better than what this fandom gave her. She is such an incredible actress and I hope to lord on high that she comes back because she was absolutely amazing. I loved her and no matter what anybody says, I think she was absolutely phenomenal and I want her back in the Star Wars universe and I will fight and protect her with my life. Now to the man of the hour. Apart from everyone, Anakin and... Darth Vader. Now you guys saw my reaction throughout this whole series. I mean, you guys don't understand how much I love Anakin Skywalker, but also Darth Vader just because he's a fucking badass and just he's so amazing and cool and oh, and just oh, just pure evil. Like, like that's what I love. I love that. Anakin's story has always been important to me and so beautiful. Like I, again, I've said it before. I know people don't like this, the prequels because the writing is not good. It is not good. But I still love the journey we get to go with Anakin. And just in this, they understood who Darth Vader was. And it was so beautifully done because... Especially from the moment we see him, especially especially more in episode three than obviously episode two in the small glance we, that we got. Episode three, though, they understood who he was, especially when his hunger for Obi-Wan, like, started to reveal itself. Like, it's so good because, like, Darth Vader wants a challenge. He wants to fight properly, like, you know, like, at full strength. So that's why in this final fight, it was beautifully done because... It was literally, because Darth Vader was like, yes, you've got your power back. I have a challenge now. In episode three, though, the reason why he just let them go was like, this is too easy. Why would I fight him when he's not at his full potential? I'll wait until he gets there. And that's just so good. Uh, like, they did it so well with how just pure rage he is to get his revenge on, in a way, Obi-Wan. Because he's still pissed about the fact of what Obi did to him, which is totally, like, in my mind, like, as well, like, you have to think about it both ways, like, Obi-Wan thinking, like, or not thinking, but seeing Anakin turn into this horrible monster, and then Anakin, you, like, you sort of grieve for him because he's trying to protect the people he loves the most, but just in the, all the wrong ways. So good. And just, again, I know a lot of people are like, we didn't get a lot of hate. I loved everything that we got, even with him as just Vader. <laughs> so good. Because I, like I said, I posted it every week. Hayden Christensen can freaking strut in both the Darth Vader suit and his Anakin Skywalker. So if I'm just here for five minutes watching him strut, I will literally pay for that content because I love it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on the last episode of Obi-Wan. Who knows, we may get a second season, but for now, series finale because I don't want to get my hopes up but also I just like the way that they finished it so if they do make a season two definitely we will be watching it um and just yeah I think it was fantastic <laughs> but anyway I love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this and I'll see you guys in the next video crazy fangirl out Woo!